How's it going everyone? My name is Hafo and uh, basically today I've got an After Effects tutorial which was like massively requested. I The other day you might not have seen it. I uploaded a video asking, you know, what tutorials you want to see and syncing with Twixter was the most, you know, requested one that I had. And as you would have seen in the preview, it's uh, basically where you just uh, sync each shot with Twixter. Um, so like it like slow motion on the scope coming in and it kind of looks quite nice so uh, yeah it's really easy it takes kind of a while you have to get used to it and whatever but uh, I'll show you how I made that video now uh, also I'm sorry if I because I haven't uploaded for a few weeks because uh, well I've been busy plus the fact that I've also been doing live streams quite a lot last week and uh, yeah if you didn't watch them and I do one in the future just yeah check it out you might enjoy it uh, we were just doing like we were just messing about we did, I did a few tutorials and then we were just like on chat roulette and stuff like that, so you know it's pretty fun. Anyway, this is the project file for my last for the preview, as you can see. Uh, it looks more complicated than it actually is for people who are new to After Effects. Uh, when I first was new, this all looked like oh my god, like all of that. But nah, it's it's actually really easy. So I'm gonna just start a new composition. Um, I just need to get to my project. Like, there it is. Okay, so I've got my clip. Um, which you can download if it's in the first uh, editing contest pack. Uh, you can download it from that. It's just I've used this clip loads. It's just uh, an easy one to sync. So it's uh, an M40 quad feed. So I'm just going to drag that in new composition, like so. And I'm going to cut the start bit out. Which if you didn't know, you can just press the. Um, oh no, maybe not. I think it's. I'm just trying to remember my shortcuts. That's it. You just press Alt and then the square bracket, like the open square bracket. And that'll cut the clip down to just the bit you want. Alright, so I'm going to import my song. I just want to get rid of the edges. And I just used some song that I found on the internet. Um, Alright, actually, what you can do is... I didn't know if you guys know this. If you double-click a song, you can select... You can kind of select which area of the song you want to import. So say I want to start from here. Let me just check which bit it is. I know it was round here somewhere, let me just find it. Right. That was it round there, so if I start, you can listen to it. Right, so I know it's like a little bit before that word. I'm just trying to find the bit I started on the preview. Right, that was it. So what I did was I just, you just find the area you want to start and then press this point here which says set in point to current time. And then you just click that and then you're just going to click this little button here on the end. It just says overlay edit, click that. And then that'll import it from the point you wanted. And then I'll just drag it to the start. Okay, so. Now what I did was, you're just going to open up Twixter. Twixter. Ah, Twixter Pro. I prefer, I don't know what the difference is with Tix, Twixter and Twixter Pro. I don't know if it's just a con. I don't know if there is actually a difference. They just make it sound cooler by putting Pro after it. I never, you'll never know. But anyway, I'm just going to take away the M40 sound. Because it'll go out of sync with this. You're going to have to download some gun sounds. Um... I've released an, ed uh, an editing pack and there was uh, a load of gun sounds in there, so if you want to download that then feel free. Um, I'm just going to get the waveform up on this song by pressing the drop down arrow on your song, then go audio, waveform, and then it's there. And I need to find where, I think the drum beat, like, the song starts there where I want to shoot. Like, I mean. Yeah, that's it there. So, I want to start my shot there. I'm just going to give it a bit more room. So I find where the scope we're scoping in for the first time, which is about there. Right, it's there, and I want to start scoping in from about there. So I'm gonna go effects, Twixter Pro, click it, and then it'll come up here, obviously. And then output control. Oh, before I do that, you're just gonna want to go to layer, transform. No, what am I saying? Layer, frame blending, and pixel motion. That's it. I finally got there. And then you go to output control. Click the little clock, the little stopwatch next to speed for a hundred percent. Go forward one frame, and then I think I selected. Uh, oh, what was it? I think it was three percent. I'll check for you now. I, I want to. I don't want to get it wrong because it's kind of annoying, right? Okay. Uh, the first one was three percent. Yeah, that's just the bit while the music's kind of starting, and then right, move this across. And I know where did I say the music started? I think it was there. So I'm gonna, as I said, I've started the Twix. Then, as you can see, it was slow motion. 
And then before the music starts, you're going to click your little stop, or your little keyframe button, go forward a frame and go to 100% to get rid of your twix there. So, oh, I did 10%. So now you're in normal speed, and then you're going to want to drag your scope. Drag it just to make sure that where the gunshot is, which is there, I'm just going to drag that one frame to the left, if I can. Right. And now when I go onto that, the gunshot is about there. Right. I need to just... So what I'm saying is, you do your twixter as the scope's going in, then you're going to look for where the, the music starts, and you're going to try and, I, what I do is I generally just try and drag the the clip, like the gunshot, over the beat. Because you can't really see the gunshot, so it's a bit annoying. You just have to go on, oh, there, there's the gunshot. And, oh, let me just check if it's online. And I, I can see it's online with the music there. So if I watch this now, um, I'll just start from here. Um, Basically, the gunshot should be on the music, but you won't be able to hear the gunshot because I haven't added it yet. I come from no, I got the wrong beat. But you get the point, so... Right, where is it? Let me try again. Let me just have a look, make sure I've got it right. Um, I come from a city. Right, yeah, I got the wrong beat, but it doesn't matter. I think that that's the beat there. So I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to drag my clip to that point. Right, so where is it? Um, I'm going to find my gunshot, obviously. Which is there. Right, so that, now let me try it. So you just have to find the gunshot, do your twister, and then... I come from a city. There you go. And then... So then it's going to scope out the scope as he does his little reload. And then this is where I want to sync it again. So I want to do my twister again here. So I'm going to keyframe my twix my speed 100%, go forward one frame. This time I like to change mine to about 6% or 8%. Depending on how fast you want it. Let me just check what I did last time. Um, right, I did it 8%. So you could do that. That's what I'm going to do. 8% on this one as well. 8%. And then I'm going to go forwards. Uh, I need to know where the next beat is actually. So Right. Right, so it's there. You can hear the, like, the little clap thing. That's where I want to do it. Right, I think it might be that little point there, but I'll check. I'll just watch it over and see where the... It's that. It's that little ridge there at the bottom. Right, I've lost it again. That bit there. Pretty sure. So I'm going to go before that. Go to keyframe. And then go, 100, go forward a frame, 100%. And then go forward a tad. Let me just check. I've got it right. And and what you do is, if you realise that you're like, oh, it, it's going to be, I need to take off a bit of slow motion because it's uh, it's not on, I can't, I'm not going to be able to synchronise the beat with the shot. So then you're going to have to just uh, take a little bit off the, of the scope in. So like, just drink, bring the um, keyframes a bit closer together if, if you don't think you can... Um, if you basically think that, like, that was that's good. So as as I said, what you got to do is you just got to. I don't know if I'm making myself clear here. You got to twist it as you're scoping in, and then I just tend to drag the clip. But I hope I'm online with this now. It's pretty difficult to be honest. I come from a city yeah, so that's fine. So I just want to explain to you. I'm just going to do that for now because it does. You just carry that on. What you do is, as you're scoping in, you're going to add your twister. So 100%, go forward a frame, then 3% for the first one. As I'm scoping in quite slowly, then just before like the scope, because if you leave it too long and it kind of starts, it kind of goes on as it as it gets to about that point there. This bit kind of messes up with the twister. As you can hear a firework in the background. Yeah, okay, <laughs> there's was a firework. Um, so I cut it off before that, and then go to where the beat is on the song, so I know the beat's there. And then I just drag this, uh, the actual video itself, until I see the gunshot. So I know that my gunshot is online with the beat. And then I'm just going to go forward again a bit. 
and then you'll see that there's more Twixter, so I just did the Twixter on the scoping again, and uh, then I went to the beat, and then I s but if you see that there's too much Twixter and that, um, basically your clip is before happens after the beat because it's too there's too much slow mo. Just take a bit of the slow mo away, um, just by moving that keyframe there. And you'll you'll get it right, and it'll you'll manage to sync it. I hope I've made myself clear, everyone. This tutorial's around ten minutes long, so that's quite long. Um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna have a color correction. So as you know, I use looks, and I'm just gonna drag that on. Edit. A guy sent me this color correction, which I kind of liked. It well, it's very basic, but I I like using it. You just and it works on Monofair two as well, and Code four. So it's I just type in old. That's what he sent it as. Sorry. Uh, I quite like it, um, like that, and then all I did was just th added some blare around the outside of the gun, and that's all there is to syncing in in, in Twixter. If you want me to go over this again, if you want me to do another one because I didn't make myself clear, uh, I tried my best to you know, make this clear to you guys. If I didn't, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll do another one. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get back into my up upload like schedule sort of thing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys.